Hello all, welcome to orotainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about top and, and bottom and aggregate function as well as filter criteria in OTBI. So what is this top N? So top N is, is one of the aggregate function, which requires two input parameters. One is the expression and the other one is an integer. So expression, I can call it as a, a column value in one of your OTP analysis. Integer is nothing but like, a, it's like n number n, like how many top values you want to have it. Like let us say you want to have a top five ranks in your particular examination or top five record count in a particular uh, general ledger balances, something like that. You can mention the integer there. So it provides the list of, you know, like a record for which it matches the top criteria. Similarly, bottom is from the bottom, like it starts from the least to the integer which you mentioned. Let us say if you mention bottom n amount comma five, it, it provides all the list of records where it starts with the least till the last five records it will mention. It's like order by a row number in a, you know, like a ascending, ascending order. That's what, you know, like a, the top n or bottom n will do. The top n is all about, you know, like a listing the records from the top and bottom n is all about listing the records, the bottom, but they are based on the expression, nothing but the column and as well as the integer which you mentioned. So we'll clear, we'll have a clear understanding once you know, like uh, once we run our analysis. So I'll just show you the sample example first. So we'll be designing our GL ledger analysis. And now here, if you observe, I have a couple of columns here. The first one is ledger accounting period category and the entered amount. Okay. So now what are we trying to do is we want to find out we want to like uh, we already filtered this analysis because it will have a huge data count, right? So to understand this particular top end or bottom end functionality, what we have done is we have provided a top end criteria or aggregate function on the general dot total amount. Let's see this example now. So here, if you observe, I have applied a top end on the general amount, comma three. So what is happening? So it is providing this top n is applied on the overall records, not any any group stuff here. On the overall data, whatever whatever was retrieved on that, it will provide as in a simple way to understand, it will provide order by general amount descending and fetch the top three record. That's how it will do. And similarly, for the bottom end, what it will do is order by general amount, ascending order, and get the three, first three records. This is for the bottom end. The same example, similar similar one. I mean to say. Now, there is another functionality called is in bottom end, is in top end. It is almost similar. It is almost similar to the top end and bottom end we have been using. So the, this one, the first two, two things are, is all about the functions which we have called top end, bottom end, and other this one, these are the filter criteria which is available in the filter criteria. They are is in top end or is in top bottom end, okay? So now what is happening in this example is, what I have done is in the filter criteria, I applied general total enter debit is in top five so assume that like already i mentioned top 10 top 10 aggregate function okay but i applied a filter criteria on this column saying that i just even though even though i even though i'm trying to pull out 10 records don't display me 10 records i just want the five records it's like you know we just want to understand how we can apply top five also so you can apply the top five directly or you can apply you know like uh, you can Try to do, you know, try to have an understanding on top end function and is top is in top five filter criteria also. So similar one is in bottom. Okay. Now let us understand this particular functionality in a practical manner. So I'll just try to go to analysis. So now here, if you observe, this is my GL general ledger real time balances. And here I have already applied a filter criteria saying that accounting year is 2023, period is 2021. 0123 and the ledger is used primary ledger. So why I applied the filter because not to have a larger data. Okay, now to understand the functionality in a better manner. Now here we got the couple of records here. Now what I want to do is let us say, let us apply the top end functionality, the aggregate function. So what I'll do is we can have, we can have one more, you know, like a general, general total amount. So we'll understand what is happening to that amount functionality. Okay, so what I'll do is General lines. Yeah, so here. Then the total. Enter debit. So let us say. So I just applied. I just 
drag and drop one more column. On this new column, what I'll do is I'll just apply edit formula, select the column, click on the function, and here click on aggregate. And now select top n, select top n, click on OK. Now just change the integer value. Let us say I would like to get the top three records. I just want to get only the top three records and click on OK, save it and just try to see the result now you should get only the top three records. Right. So now what is happening? You're trying to fetch only the top three records. Now let us see if I change the top three records criteria here on this column, right? So edit formula. Let's say I'd like to get top 10. So it will get me the top 10 records. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten. So the top one is the highest one. Top 10 is the least one. Okay. Now, similarly, if you would like to, if you apply the, the other way, like uh, instead of top and if you want to apply the bottom end, same thing, click on edit formula. You can change this one to bottom end. Okay. As we already applied the formula. Let us, if you try to apply the formula, what will, what will happen is on the existing column, it will try to apply formula. Let us say if we click on function and if you click on aggregate bottom n, so it will get applied like this, which is incorrect. Okay. So what you do, what you can do is as we know the functionality or as, as we know the syntax of it, simple thing is bottom n followed by column name followed by the integer. Click on OK. Now we should be able to see the bottom end now. So it will get you the bottom end. So 10 being the highest and 1 being the lowest. Okay. Now similarly, let's try the is bottom as well as is in top. So now as we have, as we have bottom for the bottom records, we have, we have a ranking here. So we got 10 records. Now what I want to do is let us say, even though we have ranking, let us say, you know, I don't want to see all the records. Let us say, I just want to see the top five general counts, top five general counts. So what I will, what I'll do is now within the bottom, I mean to say within the bottom, I want to get only five records. What I can apply to what I can do is on this general total amount, I can apply a filter criteria. And here we have an operator called is in is in bottom and you can apply five. So it will get you the bottom five. It will get you the bottom five. One, two, three, four, five only it will get you. Okay. This is how it will get supplied. One, two, three, four, five. And similarly, let us say if you want to apply, yeah, let us finish this and we can discuss the other one. Now we can observe here, we got the bottom five. Similarly, and what I can do is on the, on this bottom end aggregate function, I'll change it to top end. I'll change it to top end. And click on OK. And I'll change this particular function. Instead of is in bottom, I'll change it to is in top. Click on save. Now it will get us the, the top five records. Okay. So now we got the top five records. Now, let's say I'll remove the top end function. I'll remove the top end function and see what will happen now. I'll just remove this column and just click on result. Still, we got the result. The only changes like uh, it is not showing the rank. It is not showing the who got the top. If you want to have the ranking stuff, we can have the top end function or else you can simply apply the is in top or is in bottom. Now let us say if you want to apply the bottom function, what you can do you can simply change this one is in top to is in bottom. You don't require the top end function. So generally the top end or the bottom end function is required if you want to show the rank also the position of that particular record. Okay, so these are all about top end, bottom end, aggregate function as well as filter criteria in OTB analysis. Thank you.